Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geobatics Engineering. So in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the geometry tool that is here in the vector section of geometry tool. So there are total 12 number of tools that are available in this geometry tool. So firstly, we will divide these tools in four sections. So here are these four sections. So these sections are created so that the related tools can be explained together. So there are four sections. The first section, the centroid, extract vertices, d -lon -a, Voronoi tool is there and in the second section collect geometry is multi part to single part is there and in the third section densify by count simplify is in the third section and in the fourth section the other tools are there that are polygon to line line to polygon add geometry attribute and check validity so firstly we will start from the first section's first tool that is centroid so before starting these exercises i have opened a few shape files that are in polygon and line so over these shape files i can explain the tools so for explaining the centroid tool we firstly go on this vector tool and then click on geometry and then centroid so what does this centroid tool do so this centroid tool creates a new point layer with points representing the centroid of the geometry and an input layer. So for this tool, the input layer which I am using is this shape file circle. In this shape file, there are some buffered polygons are there and for these polygons, we have to create a centroid. So use this shape file circle as an input layer. So here and in input layer, I have selected the shape file circle and then tick this checkbox that is create centroid for each part. Then click on run and after completing this task, you will get a point shape file that is a centroid of these input layers. Here you can see that there are point shape files which are centroid of these buffer polygons. So now the second tool is from the first section is extract vertices. So what does the extract vertices do? Firstly, what does vertices? So if we go on any shape file, like here I have a line shape file. Vertices are basically nodes. If we start its editing and click on this vertices tool, we can see that these red points which are nodes of these line shape files and these nodes when these nodes are connected then it creates a line so using this extract vertices tools we will extract all these nodes together in a point shape file form so turn off this editing tool and then run off the extract vertices tool on this line shape file. So firstly we will click on this vector then geometry tools then click on extract vertices and here as an input layer we have selected this line and then click on run. So what we can see here where there was a node or vertices that is extracted in a point shape file form. So by using this tool the extract vertices tool we can easily extract all the nodes that are available in any polygon or line shape file. Now the next tool is that D on a triangulation. So what is this D on a triangulation? So firstly we will click on this vector tool geometry and then click on D on a triangulation. So this algorithm creates a polygon layer with the D on a triangulation corresponding a points layer. So for the D on a triangulation we have to use the input layer in a point shape file. So for this we have used this centroids that we have created using the centroid tool. So for this firstly click on vector then geometry tools then click on D on a triangulation. Then use the input layer as a centroid then click on run and here you can see that by using these point shape files it creates a polygon using deal on a triangulation algorithm and just like these our next tool that is Voronoi will also work. So for this firstly go on vector geometry tools and then click on Voronoi polygon. So this algorithm takes a point layer and generates a polygon layer containing the Voronoi polygon. So for this also we have to use a point shape file as an input layer. So in the input layer we again select these centroid points and the buffer buffer reason will be as default as zero and now click on run. So here we can see that using these point shape files the Voronoi polygons are created here. So in the first section there were four tools that was centroid, extract vertices, d on a and Voronoi. Now let's talk about second section of this geometry tools. So firstly talk about collect geometries and for that we have to click on vector geometry tools and then click on collect geometries. So this tool can merge the polygons or any shape file that have one or more attribute that can be specified to collect only geometries belonging to the same class. Like for this I have 
have a shape file which has multiple polygons and in this polygon attribute table there is a, is a column that has a village names and like there are three polygons that have the same village name so this collect geometry tool will combine it together so in input layer we will use this multi part geometry shape file and this unique id field we will select this village and then click on ok and then click run and after that we can see that in collected shape file there are all the unique names in this village name the total 25 polygons are there and in the original one there were total 30 polygons so all the duplicate names in the village column were merged together and after that we will talk about the second tool that is multi part to single part it does the exact opposite of the collect geometry tools like we have a collected geometry tool where in a single polygon the multiple parts of a same polygon are covered so multi part geometry will split it with its attribute so for this we have to click vector then geometry and then click on multi part to single part for this we use the input layer as the collected layer which was the output of that last tool which was from collect geometry tool and now click on run and in the output we can see that now the attributes are duplicate again and we got the original shape file which has the total number of 30 polygons were there and now we will talk about this third section of this toolbar where the first tool is densify by count so what does this tool do like i have a shape file which has line features and if we see its vertices there are only two vertices so densify by count increases the number of vertices so for this go on vector then click on geometry tools then click on densify by count and for this tool you can use input layer as a any line or polygon shape file so here i am using this line shape file as a input layer and number of vertices to add so here i am writing it as 10 and then click on run and now if we start this densified output editing and click on vertices tool we can see that the number of vertices are increased earlier there were only two vertices and now it is increased by 10 vertices so we will turn off the editing of this densify tool and again talk about the next tool that is simplify so simplify tool is just do the opposite of the densify tool for this we have to go again on vector and then click on geometry and then click on simplify simplify tools reduces the number of vertices like if we run on this densified layer which has a lot of vertices so we will use the densified layer as a input layer simplification method is as default as distance and now click on run so in the output simplified region when we will check for vertices like go on vertices tool and we can see that again there are only two number of vertices so the lines are simplified again with a less number of vertices so the densify tool increases the number of vertices and simplify tools decreases the number of vertices in a, any polygon or line shape file and next we will talk about the fourth section of this toolbar where there are four toolbars so firstly we will talk about polygon to line so for polygon to line conversion we need an input layer of polygon so here i have a polygon shape file and we need to convert into a line for that we have to click on vector then geometry tools then click on polygon to line and for this input layer i am selecting as a multi part geometry and then click on run and now these polygons are converted into a line as we can see that these are converted into a line shape file and again we can convert it into a polygon using polygonize tool that i have explained in my earlier lectures and now we will talk about line to polygon so for line to polygon we need a line shape file as an input layer for that we have to click on vector geometry tools and then click on line to polygon and this line to polygon gives you an output where this line has just a small buffer ring will be created as a polygon layer this will not the polygonize these lines layer for that if you want these lines to this polygon you have to use polygonize tool and here i am using the input layer as a line then click on run and now it throws an error it shows that one or more line ignored due to geometry not having minimum of 3 vertices so for line to polygon conversion the line have more than 3 number of vertices so we have a densified line which we have created using the densify tool where there are lot number of vertices like this there are 10 number of vertices we have added so using this densified line we will create line to polygon so now 
vector geometry tools and line to polygon we will use this densified layer as an input layer and now click on run so these lines are created into polygon where a small ring buffer is created around these lines if you want to polygonize these lines you have to search for polygonize tools from processing toolbar so if here i am using this densified line as an input layer and now click on run so we will get a complete polygon next we will talk about this third tool that is add geometry attribute so for this i am using this multi part geometry shape file which is a polygon shape file and now we will go on vector geometry tools and click on add geometry attributes so this tool adds some extra attributes where the area perimeter like informations were added in each polygons attribute and here i am using the input layer as a multi part geometry shape file calculate using layer crs and now click on run when we will check the attribute table of this the area and perimeter of each polygon is added in the attribute table and if we if we run this add geometry attributes on a point shape file then it will give us the latitude and longitude locations of that point shape file or if we give the input layer as a line shape file then it will provide us the length of that line in the attribute section now the next tool is check validity for that i have a shape file here i have a shape file which are created wrongly for validity checking so for this we have to go on vector then click on geometry tools and then click on check validity for this i am using the input layer as validity check and now click on run so it will give us the three output the valid output the invalid output in a polygon and the error output so there are some points are there where the error is in the input layer so here a intersection is occurred in the polygon so the error output shows the errors in the polygons so by using this tools you can correct your polygon shape file like here also the geometry is wrong and the error output shows a point shape file indicating the error and now we have covered all these 12 tools of the vector toolbar that were available in geometry tools so i hope you have understand about this geometry tools from this lecture thank you very much